What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dave Mo. Dave Mo flips Team Us 100%. You already know what it is. First and foremost, God bless. I hope this video is finding you in extreme wealth and health. Check this new one out. 20... 2008 Civic uh, in-op. No runner. You know how I'm liking these right now. Picked it up from ACV. Not too much money. Um... Dirty as can be. Nice little horns. A bunch of stuff. If anyone knows who what th what this is, let me know. I, I I don't know. I'm not I'm not like a ricer. Um, it is five speed, but this one at least has power windows. Dirty as sin. Um, it's really just what it is, guys. It's got uh, you know what? I don't even know the mileage because they TMU'd it out. They put one mile on it. So obviously it needs paint, right? You got Leroy in the background. So let's get let's get to the love. Let's get to the love. Aside from needing a motor, we need a mirror and a door and a fender. So what I'm hoping to do, and it needs paint, so it doesn't matter. I'm hoping we'll be able to pick up um, a door from somebody with the mirror, and then I'll just buy the fender, and that's it. The tires look pretty good on this thing. Oh, yeah, this, what it needs is a Civic. <laughs> Leroy's right. This Civic needs a Civic. So, uh, at any rate, guys, why did I buy this in op? Because the motor's only 500 bucks. It's probably 300 to get it put in. So that's simple. That plus what I paid for it, I'm in a really good position. Paint, not a big deal. Door fender, also not a big deal. They're all over the pick and pull. Not a big deal whatsoever. So, with that being said, guys, tell me what you would pay for this car as an in-op with TMU, and we'll figure it out from there. All right, until the next one. Hit the subscribe button, please. You're not gonna believe this. So, get the car off, put the jump box on it, starts up, sounds pretty good, so I'm like, well, Chances are it's probably gonna overheat or something's gonna happen, right? Because it's an in-op vehicle. Leroy's like, come on, let's go. It needs gas. He's like, let's just take it to the gas station anyway. So we drove, what would you say, maybe a mile or two? Not even a mile. Not even a mile uh, to the gas station. And we're about to take it on 275 right now, which is the expressway. Um, I am super, super shocked because now, you know, like I said, the motor's like four or 500 bucks, 300 to put it in. So it's looking like seven, 800 bucks maybe eight or nine with fluids um that's a win now that's that's actually going to be profit so we are actually moving so you guys know i'm not bsing you i don't know if it's picking it up let's see if i can there it goes yeah, we're driving it this is by far though the like i don't know if they were like trying to have sex with this thing or what but this thing is like out of an 18 wheeler or something radio works but the only thing that it has are these stupid little tweeters in it um can you guys see that look we're getting up up to 60 she's going this is a win all day long all day guys look we're going hitting 80 now see it. It still says in op so yeah, things like this that. happen guys. <laughs> things things like this happen. Like you'll buy cars, you think they're in ops and they're not and you win. You know my homeboy Joe he bought a Chrysler 200 uh really nice vehicle. The motor was two thousand dollars he thought it was in op turns out it was just a starter. These things do happen would I count on them happening on a regular basis definitely not but do they happen are they rare i don't think they're rare as rare as you would think but i wouldn't bank on it and AC you know what I'm saying? oh and it's got cold ac oh power windows because you guys know i've been trying to i've been buying cars without power windows for some reason anyway guys thank you for watching i'll get back to you once this thing all put back together and sold What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dave Mo. Dave Mo Flips. Team Us 100%. You already know what it is. I'm going to show you a new car that we just got in. Actually, we didn't just get it in. We've had it in. But if you know anything about me, I just... 
I'm never really rushed for time. You know what I mean? So let's get to this. Here we go. It's a 07 or an 08. It's so great how I don't even know the years of the cars. 07, 08 um, Civic, Honda Civic. Let's take a look here. 210,000 miles. I just want to be upfront and honest with you. It did not come in like this. I had it painted and it needed a door and a fender. And I could always go back to the ACV video for you and show you the original stuff. So I got this car because they said that it did not start. It's manual five speed. So doing a little bit of homework, not even doing a little bit of homework, just honestly being alive. I know that if you don't push the clutch in enough that cars don't start. I know it's a Honda. Usually it'll do some sort of clicking, cranking, anything whatsoever, but it did nothing. So I assumed, I gambled here, that they did not have the clutch depressed enough, okay? So that's the outside of the car. Obviously, you know it needs a little bit of love. Here on the hood, dent, bumper doesn't line up, door doesn't line up. This is the door that we had replaced. Um, good thing about when I get my doors and, and stuff like that, they come complete. Window, regulator, switches, door panel. The only thing it doesn't come with is the mirror which is no problem. So even after I get stuff like that, if the panel is good from the door I, I get, I'll usually just run a quick little ad on Craigslist. I don't, on Facebook rather, I don't even care if I get $20 for the panels. It doesn't matter. It just ends up getting taken off the cost of the car. As you can see here on the door, we've got some love right there as well. Um, but let's get it. Oh, it's got the, so it's got the SI wheels, good tires. Now it's got I don't want to say good paint, but it's got new paint. Let's go with that. It's got new paint. And let's get into the interior. Dirty. Guys, dirt. And this is how I love my cars. Dirty. Look at this. This is terrible. This is like caked on. Like when you feel this, it's gross. Um, like I said, manual. They put it. <laughs> I don't know if they were. I don't know what they were doing. But they put an extender on it, um, an extended shifter on it. Back seat's just as bad, and I believe there's like a rip in the back seat. Let me see. Like, look at this. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Thinking about maybe taking it out and pressure washing it, but I don't know. You see that? So, the car's gross. Um, let's look at the other side. A couple more things you gotta get done. Put 500 miles on this car already driving it around then we did the door the fender and put it in for paint this door doesn't open from the inside so uh leroy will fix that and the ac leaves a lot to be desired you can see this is coming down this really isn't a big deal you can just push it right back up like so and then you can put some adhesive in here to hold it up if it continues to fall down which i have a funny feeling that this one will <clears throat> again you know, it's terrible. This car is gross, man. It's just gross. But nothing that I'm going to say. Look, they put lights back. Like, this is just terrible. This is what you don't want at an auction. Let me just say that. This is one of those auction cars you don't want. But I'm a gambler, so I do what I do. And this right here is compliments of the painter, right? They love overspray. This paint shop loves overspray. But you deal with it because you... So now I pay $382 to get a car painted. So you have to deal with the nonsense of it all. But anyway, guys, so far into this car for under $1,500. Where are you going to get a Civic with 1500 uh, 210,000 miles, runs and drives perfect for under $1,500, regardless of the mileage? If you're telling me that you can't sell this car for at least $2,500, you might want to rethink the game that you're in, okay? And that's what it comes down to right now, especially with, with the way everything is going. These are the cars, in my opinion, that you want to, to keep um, food on the table. These are the cars that can keep your business in business, as long as your overhead's not astronomical, okay? Until banks start loosening up with that loan money, et cetera, et cetera, this is what you want to get. People are always going to need cars. They might not always jump for like, like an Audi like that one because they don't want to spend the $25,000 or whatever that car might be worth. And they might want to just stuck, stick with like something like this. Like, you know what? I'll tough this out for two years. And then once the economy gets back, we'll get something nicer. So it's something to think about, guys. Anyways, I'm out. Um, I'll definitely add some after photos once we're done. All right, guys. Let up. All right, everybody. So here she is. She's all done. She's ready for sale. Um, 
very quick little cleanup detail, if you will. But that's a stretch of the imagination. Doesn't look bad. I'll put up some of the pictures that I took that I always take. Um, always take pictures the same way. And if you guys want, we could do a video on how I take the pictures for, um, you know, for, for our marketing or whatever. So she came out decent. <clears throat> Excuse me. She is a dollar menu car. So again, you gotta keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Uh, one thing I was not really thrilled with. I'm not gonna front. I could have did a lot better with the uh, with the seats. I really could have went in on them. The floor mats cleaned up decent. The seats I could have did a lot better. It's just I didn't want to take them out. I really didn't. My pro man, listen. My my problem comes down to this. When they're dollar menu cars, I don't really go, get crazy with them. You know, I I I, uh, I get them to a certain point, and then I just kind of I kind of just get lazy with it. You know what I mean? Like I'm like ah, whatever. It's a dollar menu car, and I really need to change that mindset because I could have went crazy with this car, man. I could have seriously. I could have wet sanded and buffed out the car, made it shine a lot better. I could have, you know, clear coated the headlights. I could have um, took the seats out, pressure washed them, or hit them with the, um, you know, I got big blue, my carpet extractor, the Mighty Carpet Extractor, Mighty Carpet Extractor. I could have did a lot more. Now, this was done with the carpet extractor, but very fast. Like, boom, boom, done. And I got it to this point, and I'm like, and I'm just like, look, I'm just good with it. I'm done with this car. Let's get it out. Let's get it up for sale. I'm going to post it for $29.50. It's an 08, 210,000 miles. Tell me what you guys think in terms of everything. Tell me what you think you, if you would have did more. Tell me if you think I'm asking too much, too little, whatever. Tell me tell me whatever you think. Leave it in the comments below. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I'll catch you later. That's my best friend.